Hello, hello, folks. In this third part, we will have a look at the spectacular erosion features of the Cappadocian volcanic province. In general, it is believed that the crust started to rebound 5 million years ago, following the crystal dripping episode. The result of the added relief was that it was much easier for the rivers and water to carve and erode the rocks. Inningbrites and volcanic ash stuff are extremely friable material and therefore very easy to carve by the elements. As a result, rain and rivers have formed so-called badlands, a term that defines heavily eroded rocks with steep slope, little vegetation and a complex pattern of gullies and ravines. Behind me, you can see how easily the river carved through the inning bright because it's such a friable and soft rocks. Whereas erosion features are ever present in the region, perhaps the signature formation that define Cappadocia are the fairy chimneys. They look like giant pinnacles or mushrooms and are the product of extreme erosion of gullies. They consist of a soft base of inningbrite and lacustrine deposit protected from rains by a hard cap. That cap can be perhaps a basaltic lava flow or even single basaltic bomb. Most of the time, however, it's composed of another inningbrite layer that is simply more resistant than the base. This material right here is what formed the cap of the fairy chimney, but it is not a basalt here. In fact, it's just another inning bright, but probably richer in iron or something like that, which would make it harder than the than the inning bright below it. Now behind me, you can see a few fairy chimneys, but what's very interesting with those one is that they give you a glimpse into their formation. You can see that the the top structure here is completely aligned with these bits and that's because the material in between has been eroded so the cap falls and uh, the water quickly erodes the rest. So before ferry chimneys were something like that. Once the protective cap collapse, erosion occurs about 10 times faster and the remaining spire will fade soon due to complete erosion. Now when the chimney loses cap uh, the water can circulate on the very soft base and everything gets altered in, in, in no time. Look at that, it's so friable. The more rain, the more erosion. And obviously the current warming of the climate will increase the amount of severe precipitations, in turn accelerating the erosion speed of those spectacular features. 